What's going on, money, 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 today, guys, today, we're going to be getting to the green revolution, green as like the green plan, reduce, reuse, recycle, green as in natural, the environment, there was a whole revolution of it, and we're going to be getting into it, it's actually a pretty contemporary event, it has some major results on agriculture, economics, and the world today, let's get into this, Badoom. so the third agriculture revolution, <coughs> the green revolution, began in the 1930s, and affected all but Africa, tremendously, while improving quality and quantity of crops on farms, so it began in the 1930s, pretty contemporary, as you can see, uh, and yeah, everywhere but Africa, sorry Africa, you're left out, and this improved the quality, so how juicy the fruits and veggies were, and the quantity, having more rice, more wheat, more uh, kernels on the corn. Now, during this revolution, farmers had the same amount of land that they did before. However, they were growing more crops, and we'll see a reason for this in just a second. And the biggest advancements in crops were wheat, grain, Corn and rice, you can see how we can improve the quality and quantity of these crops. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. This is not the end, though. So look at this picture here. What is being displayed or is being, like, you know, referenced in this picture? Take a few seconds to think about it. So what's being displayed is chemicals being injected into plants. So stuff like pesticides, insecticides, other steroid thingy chemicals that are being into plants to make them grow better, bigger, quicker, and juicier like this tomato right here. So yeah, that's what's being displayed in the photo. Characteristics of the Green Revolution. It was categorized in agricultural by different uses. These uses are high yield seeds, creating more surplus, more crops, increased chemicals, pesticides, insecticides, fertilizers, steroids, all that stuff that make, you know, uh, fertilizers not lose their fertility quicker, uh, makes bigger plants, uh, met lots, uh, Ugh, I can't speak, puts the insects away with insecticides, chemicals, biochemicals, you know, those kind of things. Then we got mechanized farming, we see the tractor, oh yeah, uh, stuff that can put those chemicals and seeds out on the land, the plow, stuff like that. So yeah, let's get into some more stuff, like high-yield seeds, which we just talked about, but we're going to get a little more in-depth with it. So hybridization, the process of one breeding two plants in hopes of a third plant with desirable traits. Uh, we could also see this with animals, however, we usually see this with plants. So they're going to be breeding two plants, and then they're hoping that they'll get a third plant with a different genotype. Uh, so they're going to be getting desirable traits from the crossing of two plants. So if plant A grows fast and plant B is juicier, they're hoping that plant three or that their offspring is going to be juicier and tall this can be created to add a variety of food to the markets uh, and stuff like that or as actual or to allow for double cropping which is basically growing multiple plants on a farm there's also gmos which change the dna of a plant very uh biotechnical uh, so yeah, these change the DNA of a plant for, to give the plant desirable traits. And then GMOs can have negative effects on human health, so they can make uh, diabetes and stuff come quicker than they should. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm not an anatomy biology person. Then there's increased chemicals, we just talked about just a second ago. So to increase yield, farmers use pesticides, insecticides, and fertilizers. So pesticides uh, don't let the plants get fungus. Insecticides uh, kill the uh, insects that try to eat the plants. And fertilizers allow for more efficient plant growth and let a fertilizer uh, not lose its fertility. Then we got mechanization. Uh, so this new revolution brought along three main things. New machinery like the tractor, which decreases laborers, makes the farming job a lot more easier. Then we have larger scale irrigation methods, especially in India, uh, to make more efficient water resources. Then we have transportation advancements for diffusion of crops and, of course, make it easier for stuff to get to the market. This allows people to actually live farther away from the markets in urban areas because of transportation advancements. Advancements. Now, there were effects of this third agricultural, <coughs> aka green, revolution. There was double cropping, which we just talked about earlier, which is growing crops uh, that are different on uh, a farm. Investment in business, uh, so farming businesses, uh, stuff like that, businesses and pesticides. 
uh, seeds, blah, 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 blah. Uh, investment in universities and research on farming techniques. So research on these pesticides and insecticides. We know that these affect human health negatively because of those investment in to really rate that later went into research of that. Then urbanization, especially in Asia, many farmers lost their jobs due to this revolution, so they moved to urban areas in hopes for more uh, job and opportunities. And then, of course, we see development of countries. They're earning money from farms, so now they can develop. And then, of course, soil erosion. Uh, this is due to, you know, uh, fertilizers being used too much. And then, of course, we have pollution. Uh, so we see those pesticides and insecticides and chemicals and all that stuff getting into the air, into our rain, so that's pollution as well. Increased costs in production, uh, technology and transportation is not cheap, people. And then draining of natural nutrients due to all the artificial stuff, as you can see, you probably know where that's going. And then we got economic stress. Uh, this later led to a uh, higher price in 2000s, uh, the early 2000s, 2004, 2005, and stuff like wheat, uh, because of course there was a ton of it, uh, but there are times where it did increase because people would pay for it, and sometimes there wasn't enough one day or another. All right, and that's the end of the video. Let's put that scale check on the screen in three, two, one. There it is. Oh, that's part A. Let's put all these parts up there. Uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like. It helps me out. Subscribe. It's free. You can change your mind if you don't like my content later on. Leave a comment with your criticism. I love criticism. Join my Discord server to teach other people new things or to learn something new yourself. I got nothing else for y'all. So if you guys want to see more AP Human Geography videos, check that card above in the video. And I, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say that at all again. So adios.